Hi, Mr. Rust. <clears throat> My name is Mark Dennis, and I teach in uh, the religion department at TCU. Uh, and I had uh, a few questions uh, about what you said at the beginning of your statement. And the first thing that you said was uh, you distinguish uh, education from indoctrination. And I'm curious what the implications of, of that statement were. What, how, how do you think of education and, and what is indoctrination? And I have two other small questions. It's very simple. I, th I see education as what we're doing here. This is a free and open sharing of ideas. When I hear about college students want to have safe spaces, that's not education. That's saying that I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to be touched. I, that's saying that certain people will define what free speech is. If it's speech that does not agree with my premises and my beliefs, then there is not free speech. Yes, I, I absolutely agree with you. And I, I, I feel very strongly in free speech and that people should be able to uh, express differing opinions with, with respect. A follow-up question is you had said um, you had mentioned the art of war, which is something I've read, and, and one of the key elements of that was to know, know the enemy, to know yourself. And I'm just curious, how, how do you define that self? And I, 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 you're well known for making um, anti-Islamic statements, and so my, my question in, in pursuing that give me, is- Give me one. Um, well, you had, you had uh, characterized in a tweet uh, in response to an op-ed from Bill Cosby, it, it seemed to suggest that Islam, our Muslims were cared, are reduced to, in your tweet, uh, to people who engage in honor killings, uh, beheadings, and I forgot the third element of that. And then to give you another example, I am from Wisconsin, but I've spent a lot of time in uh, Minnesota, and you have uh, made uh, derogatory statements about Keith Ellison, who is the first um, I haven't made any derogatory statements about Keith Ellison. Keith Ellison supports an organization, the Council for American Islamic Relations, that is an unindicted co conspirator in the largest terrorist financing case, which was tried here in the state of Texas, out of the Holy Land Foundation case. And CARE, the Council for American Islamic Relations, is one of those organizations that is listed in the strategic memorandum that was written in 1991. Okay, and, and if, if I may, um, so within the self that you were talking about when you were referring to the art of war, what, what, in what way do you understand the position of Muslims in that American self? Are they legitimate parts of, of the American self? I mean, you should ask the community. I think that anyone that comes here in the United States of America will want to be part of a constitutional republic. And being a part of a constitutional republic is understanding some of the basic freedoms and, and beliefs that we have. And any time that you are proselytizing something that is antithetical to the fundamental principles of this country, such as the Constitution, I don't see that as being a part of free speech. I see that as being, you know, right along the lines of a seditious speech. Okay, and I think we have to be very careful about that. And I think that we cannot continue to play these politically correct games. I mean, I have to tell you, no one is running around with a, a white cloak with a big red cross on it and say God wills it anymore. Okay? Uh, okay, I, I, I haven't seen anybody mounting up on horses and, and doing that. Maybe you have, I, I have. But I, 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 I tell you that, how do you explain that what is happening that we all can see and videos playing out before. I mean, wh wh where is that coming from? Is, is, is it as Marie Harp said, they just need better job opportunities? I mean, what is it? No, I, I, I agree. I teach a course called Religion and Violence, and we look at- What happened to 732 of the ballot tours? What, I, I don't know. But what happened to 1571 of the ballot tours? Okay, what happened in- No, I, I'm just telling, I'm just, I'm just- in, in 1857 in, in India? I mean, we can throw out facts and just because we don't know- What happened when, 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 when Thomas Jefferson and John Adams sat down in 1790 in Paris, France, and they asked the Day of Algiers, why are you attacking our shipping? Why are you impounding and enslaving American citizens? Okay, so, so is the implication, if I don't know the details of that particular piece of history, that my broader argument is not valid? No, Maybe that, you could explain what, what I'm trying to is. get you to understand is that there is an enemy, there is an ideology that we have to confront and we have to deal with. It is not the ideology of an entire group of people, okay. but it is an ideology that has existed for quite some time. 
And if we continue to deny it, if we continue to dismiss it, you only provide the enemy the opportunity to find gaps by which to exploit it. Yes, and I, I agree with that. But one of the last point I'll make, and then there's clearly a lot of other questions, but would you agree or disagree with the statement that any fundamentalist ideology can become dangerous? So um, clearly there is the issue that, that you're talking about with, with ISIS and Al-Qaeda and many other kinds of groups, but there are plenty of other ideologies Communism has become violent. Uh, Communism killed millions of people. Yeah, so, so that's why I don't understand why we like so, walking around with socialism. So, so anyway, so my my, my point is. <laughs> My, my final point then is, is that any kind of, of ideology that believes it has the absolute truth can become, can become violent. And I would say that in the case of all of these different groups that you have mentioned, some are, are, are clearly very threatening to us, but there's- I think all of those guys yeah, are very there's, threatening. There's, well, there's, there's, there's a lot of complexity to what's going on, and I don't know if that came out in, in, in the discussion. I'll end my comments there. Thank you. Very kind.